Aquarius, welcome to your energy reading. It's my pleasure to read for you, as you know. And as you know, these readings are timeless and signless, so you don't have to have any specific Aquarian placements in your natal chart. And you don't have to be watching at the time that I'm publishing this video as it's energy and it's always going to be <laughs> um, fresh. <laughs> Let's put it that way if it's for you. Um, if you'd like to work more personally with me, you know exactly where to find me. Just click the link for my Etsy page and I will be there. And if something doesn't resonate with you here today, I would invite you to take a step back and come back later so um, the energies can have a t um, more of a chance to solidify in your physical um, life. And then maybe you can see where the energies relate to you, okay? Sounds a long-winded <laughs> way to say it, but let's jump in. Aquarius, I'm feeling a little bit of a breath of fresh air reading your energy which is very very apropos you always bring something new i'm getting like that song i'm seeing you with glasses right like little glasses maybe a little pipe and you know you're you're sitting and taking in the sight so very classy kind of feeling for you but you know it's like it, it, something's it feels like something's coming for you it's almost like you're sitting there finally striking a pose this is just go with me on this finally striking a pose it's like finally getting into the chair that you wanted it makes you feel good you've got the old pipe with the little curve in it and you've got the music playing and you've got this classy you know glasses and and the sun is hitting at just the right time and everything's going good and then <laughs> Then you start feeling shortness of breath, like, you know, like something comes up from the inside to ruin it. Not ruin it, but like, it's like, ah, it's not fully giving me those vibes of there was time now. Remember that episode from, <laughs> from the Twilight Zone, the old series? Love that series. By the way, check it out if you haven't um, seen it. There was time now. You can just Google that and you'll find out. <laughs> It's very iconic episode. It's not giving that full uh, vibe of that, but it's almost like you finally got settled. I'm just feeling like clicked, like uh, finally there. And then <laughs> hiccup, something is like a hiccup. Now here's the thing, this is what I love. I'm kind of getting this, this energy that uh, sometimes if something like that happens, you may crumble, you might be like, oh, you may be annoyed. But actually, what I'm getting here, and I like it, is that, you know, you spent all this time getting the conditions right, it was just whatever, and then you have this hiccup from within, or something's going on, whatever, and you're immediately up and on your feet trying to figure things out. I love that, right? And they're saying, of course, there will be some things that are hidden from you, right? Because otherwise, this, 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 uh, this life would be too easy, let's put it that way. And some of you are go-getters when it comes to working on your energy field. So, <laughs> you know, once you like really start getting in there, you're like, wow, I could really do a lot. But, it, you know, you're not walking through walls, you know, you know, there is still challenges for you, right? And so even though you're functioning more than the average Joe, I'll just say it that way, um, there's still going to be things there for you. So you're going to have um, some things that are hidden for you, but it's almost like it's not going to be for lack of you trying because it's like hell hath no fury is what I'm getting. Three minutes, 45 minutes, 45 seconds. And not not hell hath, hath no fury in its usual sense, but like, let me translate the way that the energy came in with that saying. It's like, and nothing can stop you from breaking down the doors of hell or, or like, I can't, properly translate. I feel like there's a saying that I'm missing. Um, um, like the only, let's just say that I'm making it up. The only thing that could stop you from finding out this information will literally be God's divine hand because you're so on it. You're doing the best that you can. The minute I said you're so on it, it was like four minutes, 22 seconds. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> Five of wands you know, conflict energy, things like that. But it like, you know, you saw it, it was like, boom, and it flew out like that. So I like that in the reverse. It's almost like I don't have, like I wanna go four minutes, 44 seconds, I wanna go, I don't have time 
for shenanigans. That's that energy. Like, I need to find out what's going on. And there's the temperance card. There's the healing card. So, for some of you, I'm not sure what this is going to be about. Um, perhaps this has to do with, you know, just whatever, anything. Health for somebody it doesn't have to be, by the way. And just because you get a little tickle in your throat does not mean it's you. Please, guys, for the love of God, <laughs> that, who is within you, by the way, use your discernment. This is, you know, tarot, you know, I, I say intuitive reading because I just, you know, we'll read whatever out here. So I'm not a strict tarot reader, but any type of readings and things that you get, right? You have to be responsible. You have to guard your minds. Listen, take it back home, consider, put things to the side, live your life. And if it comes up, you apply. Like this is this is how this goes. It's not like I heard in this so and so, and now this and that. Then you're just following, and you know we're not big on following on this channel, right? But what I'm seeing here is um, something you do have to watch out for is giving in to your fears, because here's this person living day to day with their nine of swords. Meanwhile, this cute little birdlet, cute tweet tweet, is like, hey, there's the sun coming up. You're like, the sun's going down. Like, what's going on? Because look at where that is. It's feeding right into this. So here's death ready to make some moves. Transition. Transition card. Ready. Who am I talking to? Why, why, why are they making me, like, break this down so much for somebody? So if you are somebody who's watching this and you are the type of person who... I, I don't want to say, but but isn't in tune with yourself and you kind of just go with whatever somebody tells you, please do not watch readings, okay? Just don't do it because to, to, to work within the energy field, you have to understand that these things are just reflecting back to you energies that are at play. Nobody, especially me, in fact, I've turned down clients before for this. We are not here to tell you what to do. We're not here to read your future. We're not here to give you permission. You have to make your own choice, okay? And they're talking to somebody here. Otherwise, you know, we would continue on with the reading, but I just want to be making it clear that as a responsible consumer in this world, and I'm really telling you in this age of Aquarius, everybody's got to wisen up now. You have to wisen up because you are not going to be able to tell the difference between right and wrong, up, down, in out anymore because the rules have changed it's energy now okay we're in a whole different ball game now you, you watch the news you're already lost you've got to get a certain you know you got to think 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 for yourself and that must coincide with alignment with yourself if you're not in your energy field, if you don't even know what your energy field is doing, if you don't know what your shadows are, shadow work, we do it here with love. If you don't know what your shadows are, if you don't even want to look at them, if you, if you, you know, these are things you must start to do. Okay? You just must. Otherwise, you're going to be lost in this time. It's just, this is just the way the world is going. It's wake up time, right? So whatever is going on here, they're saying, wake up. I'm not a, I'm not a right-handed snapper. This is better. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> wake up out of this ideation that you have, right? So that when the transitions occur, you can make sure, look at these two doors, you can make sure that you're in, listen up, you're in 8 minutes, 44 seconds, the right state of mind. The right state of mind to make a choice that is in your highest interest. One door is closed. It's probably dark. And who knows what's going on there? Who knows if it's even a door? There's the, another door that's slightly ajar and some lights coming through. But I'll tell you what, if you're moving around with this sadness and all of that, you're not going to make, you're not going to have the state of mind to even attract or bring into solidification timelines because your vibration calls in from all possibilities, calls in those timelines from, you know, all over that are most a vibrational match. And those are the things, so everything's possible, but those are the things that through your strength of vibration become the most probable. And then, you know, your thoughts and your beliefs and all of that will 
narrow things down. And that's how you literally navigate your timelines and somebody else navigates their timelines, right? By the same way. So if you are in a better frame of mind, you're really working on yourself, 10 minutes, one second, one zero zero one. I was just about to look at temperance card, which is in alignment with spirit, right? We've got two on one on one on each side. We've got healthy stuff on this side and we've got cupcakes. I love cupcakes and other unhealthy stuff on this side. But this is the healing card. If you are focused on your healing, you're focused on doing your best. You're in, I just saw the emperor. You're in alignment. If you are miracle minded, miracles are just changes in perception. A miracle is a change in perception. You cannot make miracles. They are given unto you and they are worked for other people through you as well, right? So when you ask to be miracle minded, your guides are like, we're on it. The universe is like, we're on it. This is you asking for a change in your circumstance, for understanding, change in perception, change my mind so that everything else can fall into place. Okay, but that's the alignment that you need to be in. As above, so below. You have to align with spirit. And once you do that, you give yourself the opportunity to have your mind changed for the better, not by you, but by spirit. And that is what a miracle is. That's when you wake up the next day and you're like, oh, yesterday I thought I was done for. Today I wake up and I have a way. Today I wake up, I'm smiling. Oh, it's the, it, it, it's just a change. It's a 180. To us, it looks like a miracle because we don't see all of the things that are operating in the background. 11 minutes, 44 seconds, that's not our business. We got to look at ourselves and tell ourselves, mind your damn business. But you have to say, my, mind my damn business. It just, it just loses a little bit of, you know, if you just say it to yourself, but you get the point. The how is left up to spirit. That's it. That's it. Right? So whoever you are, and I just kind of feel that they're going to direct me to watch this video later. And it's going to come for me because all my videos come for me, guys. They all come for me. So I'm always happy to know when things resonate with you. Sometimes people DM me and they say, oh, this is for me, or this resonated with me, or this happened to me. And I really, really thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it because honestly, this is the job that you do that you, well, for me at least, <laughs> that you, I never know how it actually affects other people. But I know that it affects me because I'm literally just going back to my own videos when stuff is coming up. And I'm like, oh shoot, the guides talked about that, but I have to go back and watch it, right? And so that's that's all I'm I'm just gonna say. So just 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 trust me on this. Just trust me. Because look here, we have the five of wands conflict card in the reverse. So I love this energy because you're like The way that you popped out, out popped up, popped up out of that seat in from the beginning, you were like, "Let's do it," and that's the kind of energy we like to see. And this is how you're reading. You're reading like, "Let's do it." That's why the guide said, "Wow, nothing could stop you except the divine hand." When you're in this energy, and that's the energy you need to be in. And I just saw. I just first of all. I'm struggling to see because like it's so dark in here, and I'm like way up here, blah blah blah. But I don't need to see the cards because we're reading energy. And I just saw flash before my eyes right here, 777 jackpot, right? Right on this card. So that's what is going to happen. Oh my God, stop it. There's the victory card. See? And I just see, saw this hat for the first time, this lady, after all these years, this lady here with this hat and these two hats. And I'm hearing, when I move, you move. Just like that, when I move, you move. So this is spirit. I love that. For some of you, it's your ancestors working through you, assisting you. And see how she's got the hat? You just move in alignment with that, okay? And they're like saying, oh, this is strong. They're saying, don't go to, I know they're probably talking to me. They're like, don't go to any silly, what did they say? Silly gurus and this and that. Like, wow, it was very strong. Silly gurus and things like that. Um, you know, look how this person has a hat, but it's not the same. Then we've got this person off to the side. Harry Potter. I don't know. But, but anyway, they seem pretty cool. I don't know. They're not trying to be anything. So spirit is going to provide you with the people that you need. But I really get that it's not going to be like 10 million people. So if you're going to a lot of people, if you're asking a lot of people advice on stuff, you need to pump the brakes on that. Look at the choice card. 
this message is coming to you today to help you to make clear choices. I know, I know this video is for me. Tears. <laughs> oh my God. All right. God bless you guys.